Well, Israel's opposition leader is calling on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to step down, quote, immediately after Israel's response to the Hamas attack. The opposition leader accusing Netanyahu's leadership of being, quote, unpardonable failures, calling for a non-confidence vote in parliament, allowing to form a new government by another prime minister. In a new poll, as many as 80 percent of Israelis believe Netanyahu must take responsibility for the security failures exposed during the war. Now, since the start of that war, thousands have been killed, with Hamas taking more than 200 people hostage. Let's bring in now Niall Gardner, director of the Heritage Foundation and former foreign policy aide to Lady Margaret Thatcher. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Um, this war is constantly unfolding. We have now learned that the body of a hostage has been discovered, a woman recently diagnosed with cancer. Talk about this divide that is starting to erupt again within Israeli politics, now nearly seven weeks after the Hamas attacks of October 7th. Well, Nicole, thanks very much for having me on the show uh, today. And as you uh, point out, the opposition uh, leader is calling for uh, Netanyahu to be uh, replaced. Uh, he's calling for a, uh, a new unity a government, which would also be head headed by uh, Likud, which is uh, Mr. Netanyahu's party, but it would involve a wider coalition. Uh, in my view, I, I do think this is the, the wrong call for this this time. It is deeply uh, divisive. And, and of course, this is a matter for the Israeli people. But I think the United States has an interest in the stability of Israel's leadership at this time in the midst of a, a war against a brutal and barbaric enemy in the form of Hamas. And Israeli military operations are going uh, very successfully right now against Hamas deep inside uh, the Gaza Strip. And Israel, I think, is doing a very effective job in terms of its military operation here. It would be a huge mistake, I think, to uh, replace uh, Mr. Netanyahu. Uh, he is a, a very strong, robust uh, figure. Uh, he is somebody who is a strong force on the international stage uh, as well. Uh, and so I, I, I do think this, this call is unrealistic from the leader of the opposition, deeply divisive. Uh, and I think it sends the wrong signal right now. And now let's take out the, is it right, is it wrong from this? Does the opposition have any real traction right now? Uh, the opposition simply doesn't have the, uh, the seats in parliament to, to get this kind of proposal uh, through. And so I, I think it's a very unrealistic uh, proposal. I think it's very political in nature. It has been strongly rejected, of course, by uh, the ruling party of Likud. And, and I think that uh, there is no realistic prospect of this uh, proposal moving forward. So I, I, I do think it's, it's not going to go anywhere at all. Uh, but it is an example, I think, of the, the deep fractures within uh, Israeli politics, within Israeli society uh, right now. Uh, and uh, there are other politicians as well calling for uh, Mr. Netanyahu to, to go. But uh, I, I do not think these are realistic proposals. Uh, I think Israel's focus as well, certainly right now, is on winning the war against Hamas. So uh, this idea isn't going to go anywhere further, I think. You know, and Niall, we know that there is certainly this criticism of Netanyahu and what was or was not done uh, October 7th, prior to October 7th. But do you think, you know, Netanyahu, the prime minister, who, who understandably is very preoccupied with a war right now, but do you think he's given enough explanation of what will happen after whenever or whatever that may be? Well, that's a very good uh, question. And the Israeli prime minister has emphasized that once the war has been won against Hamas, uh, there will be uh, further, I think, inquiry into exactly what happened before the October 7th attacks, why this attack was uh, was not picked up by Israeli intelligence in, in advance. So I, I do think there there is going to be a great deal of public uh, and political scrutiny of exactly what happened. Uh, but the point that uh, Mr. Netanyahu makes, which I think is the right one, is that Israel's focus has to be right now on winning uh, the war. Once that war is won against Hamas, uh, then there will be uh, a full public inquiry, discussion, analysis uh, of, of exactly what happened in terms of intelligence failures or any failures of political uh, leadership. But, but right now, the focus is on winning the war which I think is the right message to uh, to have. And certainly the, the United States, I think, should be supporting Israel in every respect in terms of winning the war against a, a brutal and barbaric terrorist enemy.
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.